All right, today we're gonna to bring an ass rock. This is the Phantom Gaming B650. It's an AM socket five, all right? So just to let you guys know, you're gonna need the five version, not the four. You got your motherboard connection here. You got your CPU connection on this one. You got plenty of uh, fan connections, all right? And also, if you wanna connect your um, RGB lighting, you can do that. This is gonna be 12 volts, and you can see that. Along with, right next to each other, it's gonna be the fan connections in here. Also included, there's going to be SATA connections in here. You got your USB to uh, 3.2 connection. Also including the connections for your actual um, case are in here. Uh, type -C, uh, here's a Type C connection. If you guys can see that, you get only one slot for your actual video card. It's reinforced with uh, aluminum all around. All right, just above the PCIe port, you're going to find another radiator, and this is housing the actual M.2. Now, this motherboard has two slots, but here is one of them right in the front of it, and then I'm going to demo the back one. And also on top of this, um, it has the release, the old release. They have. I wish they had the push button. It would be much easier, but they don't have it on this one. Now, if you're looking for um, more in memory expansions, there's only two of them here. All right, let's take a look at the back of the motherboard where the M.2 secondary slot's at. It's located in the back. They only give you one slot in the back here. So it's gonna he be hidden, all right? A motherboard has um, built-in integrated graphics, all right? So that means that you don't need a video card to begin with. If you just put it up, it automatically start. Now it's gonna be a minimum, right? It's not gonna be the greatest and you cannot game on it. It's just basically for workflow, internet surfing, and other stuff. So it's perfect for a student, but if you're gonna do video editing and doing other stuff, then you're gonna need some some heavy duty power on that. So we are gonna do that in another video, but today we're just gonna demo the actual um, a motherboard and see what you can do, right? So not only that, we're also gonna get it ready with the actual um, CPU and get it going. All right, you're gonna get a couple of USBs 3.2, all right? Including the type C in here, but they are also a 2.0 in here. Now, the only thing you can distinguish because of the actual colors, they're all pretty much the same. You get your audio connections in here. You get the BIOS flash in here, your connections for your actual wireless um, wireless antennas that go in here, uh, and then your ethernet connection port. All right, so we fit the motherboard into this little ITX case. Working really well. I have access to all my stuff 